first of all, you, for those that followed the inaugural address, I hit on five values. I believe this budget's really built around those five values. Personal responsibility should be pretty clear that we expect something from you when we reach out our hand to help you. Empathy, we all need to climb into somebody else's shoes and for those that have, have had a good situation, thank the Lord you have. But for those that haven't, you're going to have to help them. Teamwork, all this is requiring teamwork, whether it's K-12 or higher education, whether it's what uh, what they're trying to do over the jobs and family services, it will not work without teamwork. Teamwork between us, local school districts, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Resilience, giving people a sense that their life can be better. It's one of the things that Gary Moore does is he drives integration inside of the prisons. And for those that are poor, give them a sense that their life can get better in the faith to believe that there's a higher power that wants you to fulfill your purpose. You know, at the beginning of this presentation, I couldn't figure out how to describe all this. It's pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing proposal that was put together by a great team. Talk about teamwork. Tim Keen and Joe and uh, Dick and John and Greg, Cynthia and Doug and Dawn and her work in laboring in offices late at night down there at, you know, workforce, which is not exactly glorious and glamorous, or the work of John McCarthy. Uh, I never let McCarthy and Moody ride in the same car. I couldn't afford to lose both of them. Or the work of, uh, of uh, Plowk, or the work of Martin. I mean, it's just been a great team digging down and having no fear about taking on big assignments. And um, I believe that if we can be successful in the passage of this, I don't only really think it's a new day for Ohio, but it could be potentially a new day for America as they take a look at a number of things. On that trip I made the other day, Dick Ross called the chief of staff of the governor in Wyoming to talk about our plans to reduce testing. I think there have already been inquiries from some states about what we're talking about in terms of coordination of, 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 um, of these welfare benefits and getting people off the rolls. I know that uh, John McCarthy and Greg constantly talk to other, uh, constantly talk to other Medicaid directors about, about our plans. And there's nobody like Keen, you know, he's, he's something else. So um, let me stop and it's been a long afternoon, but there was a lot to report.